Promote your brand here at Viral Hip Hop News. Hit me, Sam Ant, at dlsmediainc1 at gmail.com. dlsmediainc1 at gmail.com. Let's go. Hot off the presses. Grab your exclusive merch at the Viral Hip Hop Shop. Protect your energy at all costs. And you tired of all these self-proclaimed goats? Well, be a goat killer. Exclusively at the Viral Hip Hop Shop. Link in the description. For the people, we definitely appreciate all the listeners, past and present. Let's jump into it, man. What we got today? Man, Young Thug. Now, it, it's crazy the amount of shit has gone on between this case and all the stuff that has gone on legally. We almost forgot yeah. about Young Thug sitting in prison right now for a RICO charge, potentially life in danger. Now, I've seen today academics put that the judge in the Young Thug case is allowing the use of 17 different lyrics against him and his co-defendants in his case. Now, when I saw that, my initial thought was, before I looked to see if there's any other additional information and let you go in, if they're allowed to use his lyrics, which I know a lot of people were kind of vouching f- for courts and legal system not to do, but if they're allowed to use that, he's done done. It's going to be rough. It's going to be rough for him because um, I think it was in New York where they were pretty much trying to pass this bill where you know um, artists songs couldn't be used against them in court which i think is going to have a hard time but this is in georgia totally different you know place than new york and i think artists and under the current prosecution system will have a hard time separating that like saying let's leave this out in certain instances they do leave it out in one the ynw melly trial his song where he explicitly talked about killing a friend or two of his that was left out and I was in Florida. So I guess every state is different. But when you start talking about allowing lyrics to be let in, it could either be, one, beneficial to the prosecution, you know, or on the other hand, it could be what people just call embellishment. Like, you know, he was just talking about something that didn't really happen, but they're trying to now take it and say that it was this incident. It right. could be both. And on the other side of it, it could be some of these rappers is dumb enough to talk about some of the stuff that they really did. Right. We've seen that as well. We've seen that even with interviews, which we'll talk about right after this. You know, people going on interviews and they just continue just to run their mouth, run their mouth, run their mouth. And now we see that, you know, law enforcement is not looking at interviews. They're looking at songs, been looking at songs, right. you know, for, for the last 50 to 60 years probably. But they're getting information, key information for people that what we call now self-snitching. Yeah, and I'm reading a little more on it, and they're giving a little more context. I'll briefly give the layout. It's In a nutshell, they're allowed to use it, right? But the judge added that if prosecutors intend to include additional lyrics as a part of the alleged evidence in the case, they can be submitted for judge review before the trial begins later in the month. I would just ask the state or just remind the state if any other lyrics are sought to be admitted that we that I'd go through this same analysis. He went through analysis of 17 different song lyrics and allowed them to go ahead and be used. Now, Brian Steele, the attorney for Young Thug, whose legal name, obviously, Jeffrey Lamar Williams, argued during a late-night hearing on Wednesday that the lyrics are a form of artistic expression and should not be used as evidence of any individual's true state of mind. He also said that not all lyrical lyrics performed by Young Thug were even written by the artist himself. Very interesting. Good defense. We can go on on that. Right now, the lyrics are being used to prove the nature of YSL as a racketeering enterprise, the expectation of YSL as criminal street gang, said Fulton County Assistant District Attorney Mike Carlson in court on Wednesday. Let me see. That's pretty much it. He yeah. said, uh, Glanville said on Thursday he conducted an analysis on the lyrics and First Amendment argument and considered Still's argument against the lyrics being used suggested uh, its propensity to behave in a certain way, but determined that he had dissuaded as to propensity argument because the evidence is not being admitted. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, man. Um, what they what they probably gonna do is what they already done. They're gonna go through everything with a fine tooth comb, and they're gonna keep arguing every single time they get um, Young Thug's defense that this was just. And they had nothing to do with no crime. Like, this is artistic expression. As a matter of fact, so-and-so wrote this. Right. He ain't even write it. And I think that's the best defense that you're going to have because you don't want those lyrics coming in. You don't want the jury being able to, you know, gleam and hear that because it's going to paint you out to be a real, real bad monster. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, because we heard some of the Young Thug's lyrics and 
you know, just trying to be objective as possible. Some people might say, yeah, it makes him guilty. Yeah. I want to be objective here because I don't know if he's guilty. I didn't see what he did. We're just going off of some of the stuff that Georgia is telling us that he did. You know, um, I did hear some of his music. But we also have rappers out there that rap that's full of shit. Yeah. And we know that. That ain't done none of the stuff they talked about, you know, but they got this man in court. What they're saying is evidence to try to, you know, turn his label or whatever into a racketeering enterprise which i think is very very interesting and we shall see you know um you know what people you know how, how things end up um you got anything else on that i want to add something to it if not nope go ahead either. you do hear big you kind of add this on big you he was talking about um how gunner you know he don't feel like he was a um, snitch because there was no uh paperwork did you hear that no you got it you got audio, audio. um let me see that's it. Y'all ask me why I support Gunner, right? This is my take on Gunner. I ain't seen nothing on Gunner. Gunner ain't never put no, ain't got no paperwork on Gunner. Gunner did some fuck shit, I feel, as far as he took his deal first. That was the only shit. But the nigga ain't told on nobody. Y'all fall into this other shit, what these other niggas just call everybody a rat. Niggas ain't got no paperwork. Rat on nigga, you gotta have paperwork, man. When they caught a case and they did something. You know what I mean? That's my opinion, though. I just don't think that he understands. Like, I don't think I don't know if he saw the video of Gunner. And I think he's so old school that, cause see, back in the day it was just like, all right, your paperwork. You know, you, you he's a prison guy, so it's like paperwork, 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 paperwork. But you could tell on somebody without getting no paperwork. You know, what I mean, you see that people could tell in the police car and the precinct. But in this particular instance, we seen Gunner one admit that. He disassociated himself from the gang. He admitted, you know, that he's seen him doing crim criminality. If that's not snitching, I don't know what is. Now, I can see about, like, he didn't, you know, give a specific, tell about a specific incident at a specific time. But in general, he, you know, did what he did. And it was all on video. We all seen it. Yeah. And whether you deem that a rat or you deem that a, the level of, Snitch, whatever whatever the case may be, right? He went up there. He was asked questions in relation to being crime-related, yeah. dissociate yourself with the gang. They asked that man a question, and he answered, yes. Yes. I mean, I don't, I don't know what else he told. He said yes. So, But you know what? And here's my thing. This is my raw thought on it, because I'm not giving him a pass, and nor does me giving him a pass. What the fuck does that matter? If Young Thug's cool with him and other people are cool with him, yeah. Go out here and, and, and pursue a career safely and do your thing. If other people ain't been touched and can live their lives freely in other places that do the same shit in front of y'all, then Gunner has the right to do that too. So although yeah. I do think he definitely said something, he told to what level, that's up to y'all's assumption, but he definitely answered questions and helped out the prosecution in that. Damn right he did. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you can't. that's something that just can't be denied. It's no matter how you sugarcoat it. No matter how anybody wants to say this and that about, we all saw what it was, right? Mm -hmm. And according to the rules that they make, the dude, remember, it's two sides. You know what I mean? You cooperate, you help the side that's prosecuting your homie right now, your brother. That's just what it is. Now, Young Thug might not even be mad about it because he got bigger fish to fry, but that's just what the real is. So, right. Um, yeah, I mean, I ain't really got much more to say on it. Yeah. I just don't think Big U probably just understands. Um, you know, the scope of everything. But, you know, we had Big U on, real good dude. And um, I would definitely, you know, pull it to him just like this. Well, what about this? And even play the video. What about this? And see what yeah. he says. But shout out to Big U. And, um, you know, we'll see what happens with Young Thug. Yeah, he got far more time in the street than we do. So I'm not going to sit back and question his knowledge. But I don't agree on that. I just, I just don't. You right. know what I'm saying? I would love to get his perspective as to what he was thinking if those questions were presented to him, if we ever had the opportunity. Paperwork, pay, I mean, it's, uh, like I, I, say, I don't, I don't, I don't know if you've seen the video. I don't know. I don't know. That's I, just weird. Paperwork is one thing, and just cold, hard, visual <laughs> evidence <laughs> is something, too. Like, I hold this weight. I mean, more weight than the damn... I didn't expect Gunner. I mean, I from his image, I didn't expect him to do something like that. We've seen people in situations that didn't say a word. We've been to trials where people didn't say a word. They all took it and went down like a man. So we don't have to sit up here and act like it was a noble thing for him to do so he can get back to his fucking rap career to go cooperate with the prosecution. We've seen people sit down 
because they was about that life and they took it on the chin. We've seen that. Let me ask you this, O. If if Gunna came out and publicly, and I'm not putting a timeline on it, let's say three years from now he comes out and goes, listen, I'm so-and-so-and-so. I went to private school growing up. I just wanted to be a rapper and personify image. I had nothing to do with what they had going on. I was an innocent bystander. I don't know what signs I was putting up. This wasn't really me. I was faking. I'm a right. phony. I was faking a lifestyle, and I got caught up and I got in trouble. It'd be, I'll call him 6'9". Would, 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 <laughs> would, that, would that change anything in your perspective? Uh, I'm, not, I'm not mad at the dude or nothing yeah, like I mean, that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Or, you know... I think it's some sucker shit. Yeah. You know, but if he if he did say that, I was still thinking to make him a sucker. <laughs> Why are you perpetrating a fraud now? <laughs> yeah. Word. You know, again, I don't really rock with his music anyway, but I, you know, I don't have no malice towards him, but we gotta call a spade a spade. And that's how I just feel about the situation. You know, nigga, shut your motherfucking mouth, nigga. Like just take it on the chin, whatever it was, and fight it. But just say, look, I'm gonna go out there. I wanna I wanna, you know, disassociate myself, but I don't wanna incriminate them. And that probably wasn't available for him. So wasn't he, yeah. right, it wasn't enough. It was like, nah, you got to say this. You got to say there was a gang. You got to say you seen him doing this and you got to disassociate yourself. And that's exactly what he did on camera. We all seen it. I mean, the first 11 hours, they had a mugshot of him and he looked totally different. Like, brother was stressed <laughs> out. Yeah, oh, yeah. And I Behind get it. Balls. Oh, man, yeah. Like, and that's what I'm saying. If he wasn't built for that for real and he was personifying an image in the first 11 days, he got people coming at him and he can't get his <laughs> hair done and shit no more and his nails and fuck around with women. He's like, man, who, what I got to do to get up out of here, bro? I ain't built for this. Yeah. I'm not condoning any of it. Because the second you said YSL and you knew what it was about, the second you witnessed something, the second you were about it and you continued to take checks, you made yourself a part of that lifestyle. Whether it was... When you was doing... Allegedly doing crimes and shit, you in it, bro. You in it. Right. So now you can't back out now because you signed up for it, so... yeah. Even three or four years later, that's not an excuse. When you sign up for it, you sign up for it. But, I mean, so far it looks good for him. He had a charting album. He got out the situation. Um, more power to him. Let's talk about uh, Kai Sennett. Um, You know, Twitcher. Probably the Twitter. biggest Twitcher ever. Yeah. You know, uh, very influential. 